Pacers. Start your end. Night of a Thousand Spice Girls. This runway is going to be everything. Oh my god. It's a new day in the workroom. For the past week, everyone online was mourning the loss of the two Veronicas. Wait, no. One was a Victoria. I'm kidding. A double elimination so early in the competition. Who would have thought? I lived for it though. Now guys, before I get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Again, we're looking to get to 5,000. That's the goal. Hello. <laughs> and go over to my Patreon for more exclusive content. Let's get into this video. Who would you have put in the bottom two apart from yourself, Vanity? I would have loved to have seen Charitha and River give a fierce lip sync. That would have been nice. <laughs> I don't know why girls do this. I just don't get it. When someone was in the bottom and they made it, like you, you have to see them again another week, like why go to that person and be like, to be honest, it kind of sucks that you're still here and that person is gone. That's basically what my good sis Teresa May did. To my other good sis, Vanity Milan, my two faves cannot be fighting. They cannot be fighting. This is not cool. Get it together, ladies. So, River, what are you going to do to stop being so safe? I think I definitely have got more to show of me as a drag queen and me as a person. Mm -hmm. Do you think you really want this? Like, do you really, really want this? I want this so bad, babe. Yeah. I feel like these questions are producer prompted. I don't see why Vanity, <laughs> why Vanity Milan is like, River, what are you going to do to not be safe again? She's not the right person to ask this question. She's been in the bottom twice, so why? To be honest with you, I feel like I don't see it sometimes. I don't right. see that like passion for like, I'm gonna do this. So if you've got that in you, you need to like show it. I believe in myself. What is this gang up on river trade that's happening here? Did I miss something? Is river coasting? Cause she's, I've noticed her. There are other girls here that I think should go, even ones with badges. So, uh, I, uh, mm? I don't see your passion. Okay, get a badge and you get a big head too, I guess. You need to form two chart-topping pop groups. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. This week's maxi challenge is a girl group challenge. We all love it. We all know it's coming. And we get excited every year. Now, I'm liking the group so far. Group one, I expected it to look the way it looks. It's very blonde. <laughs> and group two, with Vanity Milan, you have the other girls. Some flavor. And I, listen, I saw this pairing coming a mile away. I knew exactly who these girls were gonna pick to be on their teams. Obviously, I'm team, the team with flavor, and that's where my excitement lies. Um, I like the title of the song, BDE, is that Big Drag Energy? Yeah, that's cute, 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 cute. One group will record and perform the upbeat top pop mix, and the other group will record and perform the mid-tempo power bottom mix. <laughs> lucky, lucky Scarlet. She gets to choose between the two songs and give Vanity Milan's team whichever one she doesn't want. Side note, guest judge is Baby Spice. Next to Crazy, <laughs> next to Mel B, that's my favorite Spice Girl. Victoria is a close third. I'm excited. I actually can't. This is the best day of my life. And on the runway, category is Night of a Thousand Spice Girls. Oh, Racers, start your end. Night of a Thousand Spice Girls? This runway is going to be everything. Oh my god. Material girl with the funnies and sass. Knocks the days and a real juicy mm, bringing the camp to season three. Sweet darlings, it's all about me. The Slice Girls go in to lay down their tracks first and I am not impressed. I am not. I feel like Kitty Scott Claus 
great job. She's in two groups, so check. She knows what she's doing. I thought she was very decent. I didn't think it was exciting based off of what I heard and saw. And everybody else was just, mm, I don't know. It felt like off, 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 off Broadway version of the Wizard of Oz. I don't know, like Crystal was playing the Wicked Witch and not Crystal. Charity was playing the Wicked Witch, Crystal was playing the Cowardly Lion, and freaking whatever she was, what was she doing? What was she doing? Get out of my pub. I apologize for that. My accents are horrible. You know, make every day, every day. Oh, sorry, I messed up. Vanity Milan's team going in to lay down their tracks. I was really impressed. Everyone had a really great message. Everyone was really comfortable. Everyone was giving it emotion because they are doing the ballad. The only thing that had me like, uh, I hope this turns out well was my good sis from the Broadway scene not really being confident. And Ella of a Day exudes a lot of confidence in and out of drag, so this was a bit odd, seeing her like nervous in front of a microphone. Like, this is what you do. But I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Because sometimes when you do this all the time and this is your gig, your zhuzh, when you're put in a bubble and in some pressurized situation, it's like, oh crap, there's expectations now. People know that I've done this multiple times and I've bragged about it. Will I deliver? Ever it takes, and it's got a name. So Are you facing left, right at the end? Yeah. <laughs> Girl, Team Blonde is a struggle bus. Very, very that. All these skinny girls just ain't got no rhythm. And I thought this was Scarlett's team, but apparently Kitty Scott Claus is leading them now. I don't know what's going on. If they end up in the bottom, I expect them all to throw Scarlett under the bus, reverse, and ride right over her corpse again, because she is just here for the ride at this point. They can't move. They don't know what they're doing. Kitty's trying to like give them coordination technique, and it's like, you can't teach that in a few minutes or a day this is a train wreck east from the east it's a hell of a day yeah Teresa, are you okay with that i'm okay so far and we are not over complicating the choreo so everyone in the group can actually nail it i had the same question as ella vade why are these choreographers here if not to help choreograph anything they're literally sitting there like Go on now, do your thing. They give nothing but like little notes here and there that are generic. It's basically saying, don't forget to smile. At this point, you don't need to be in the room. Get out. <laughs> but um, this team with Vanity Milan and her uh, girls, I see a lot of potential there. It's not over overly complicated. Everyone seems to be okay with the moves. They're having fun. Important, they're having fun. So I expect it to look good on stage. When she passed away, like after like nine days, like it was really, it was really Wow, that's quick. so quick. No, it was like, I'm gonna make you so proud. So it was like, and I said, I said, I'm gonna get on Drag Race one day. And I said, I'm gonna tell the whole world about you. <sighs> River Medway's talking about her relationship with her mom. Again, we saw this a few weeks ago, but each time she brings it up, it's just even more heart-wrenching. It's just so sad. You know, a boy's relationship with his mom is something real special. Uh, for the mama's boys out there, I'm one. I don't know about you guys, but when you are a queer kid that has a really tight bond with your mother and then she's supportive of you, there's nothing more fulfilling in the world. You feel like you can take on anything if your mom is supporting you. And I get all of this. I I mean, who do, who wouldn't be able to freaking connect with this? 
I can barely watch it without holding myself together because it's so freaking emotional. <sighs> I just want to hug her. Put the bass in your walk, head to toe, let your whole body talk. This is not my favorite RuPaul look. It's not my favorite look. That's all. Darling, everybody <laughs> does. Emma Bunton looks freaking incredible. You have to understand that the Spice Girls were like 20 years ago. It's incredible how good she looks. She's a grown ass woman. Here for it. Give it up for the Slice Girls. <laughs> Vanity Milan. I'm not sure what that was either, girl. I don't know what I just watched. Wow! My suspicions, my concerns. They were just realized. Yeah. It's very obvious to me that whoever ends up in the bottom, Scarlet Harlot's gonna be there with them because that was a mess. She did not know her lyrics. She did not know the routine. You're the team, you're the team captain, sweetheart. Like what? And everyone looked decent. It didn't feel like they were part of the same girl group though. Uh, and there's so many things I want to pick apart. Do I have enough time? I, I don't want to do a, put out a whole hour long video. <laughs> I'm gonna save it for Patreon, but no, 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 no. Side note for Kitty Scott Claus. I'm not always a fan of what she wears because I think she has an issue with proportionizing. And I really liked this outfit. It gave her, it balanced out her broad shoulders with the puffy skirt. It, I like this. I will say I'm a bit tired of this hair. This big curly hair with the weird little pony at the front. Can we retire her? But this performance on a whole was not the T. This is Pick and Mix. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I expected this group to do well because they got the flavor and other reasons. But anyways, um, everyone did great. No one person in this group let me down. No one person in this group made me feel like, oh, they weren't up to par. Everyone was performing well. They look like they're part of the same damn group. Everyone's coordinated the black the hair colors, we have the reds going into the light pinks, going into the blonde. River Medway even put on a body for this. Like, I wish, like, this is so good. Like, the lyrics were good. The choreography was seamless. Seamless. That's what you do when you get a girl group challenge. You give everyone a chance to shine. You make the choreography doable, funny, memorable, and you give good lyrics. Period. Category is Night of a Thousand Space Ghettos. Crystal don't disappoint. Like Crystal does not disappoint when it comes to a look. Her looks might not always be intricate and like interesting, but the polish on it, baby, it will always be shiny. Like, the hair is right, the face is always right, the outfit is giving big Spice Girl energy, baby Spice the house down boots, yes God, even to the colors that she chose. I'm here for everything. Baby Spice is looking at her like, damn bitch, is that me from 25 years ago? Like, yeah, this is right, the look is right. Um, yeah. I see the reference to Scary Spice that Charity's doing. Did she have to turn Mel B into a cat? 
I don't know. It feels less Spice Girls and more Cats the Musical because of the whole feline aspect of it. It's too costumey now and it takes me out of the Spice Girl element. Yeah, Mel B warped prints. But no, it's a good look. It's a whole lot of stuff going on, but it's still a good look. And there are things I would have done to make it more polished or to elevate it, like the whole jumper moment. The fit's a bit off to me, the straps are a bit wide, and you would either, if you're going to go super sexy, make the pant legs smaller, or if you wanted to go like retro and fashionable, like make them way wider. But apart from that, it's just still a no for me. The top hat, the everything, it's just too, no, no. Yeah, it's a, it's a good look. I mean, Baby Spice did wear that. It's a recreation of something she did. Like, yeah, all in all, it's not a bad look. Kitty Scott Claus, the more I see her week after week, she's getting better with her proportions and that was my biggest issue with her. I think she looks good. She's having fun on the stage. I love the mic as an, a prop. There's nothing wrong with it. I just don't love the shoe. The shoe's taking me to church and not so much on the stage, you know what I mean? Yeah, Scarlet Harlot did Mel B right. Like, this is how I want to see Mel B represented, not like as a freaking cougar, literally. I love the coat, the coat is great. You know, what would have just made it better if the coat was dragging on the floor? Literally like, dragging drama, hello. If you're gonna come on the main stage, like come on the main stage, period. I love the green dress, it fits her great. The boots are cute. Um, the hair is very Mel B-esque, it's big and curly. Uh, yeah, like it's a cute look. Well, all in all, it's a cute look. Alan Carr is a gross person, I love him. <laughs> uh, Elevate looks really great. It's giving quintessential Sporty Spice. The look is great, hands down. I love from the boot to the top, like, I don't know how you, where you got that boot from, but the boots are everything. I love the shoes. I love the metallic top. I love the big, bright blue pants. You know, early 2000s where it opens up, but this is a skirt. Love that twist. Uh, the push-ups were nice to look at because <laughs> God knows I can't do a push-up these days. Ugh, the work that goes into it. And the tattoo, good touch. Ah, uh, River Medway as Ginger Spice. It's perfectly fine. The thing is, when you're doing one of these runways, you can either try to go like complete replica of something they've done, or you can try to elevate something they've done if whatever you're thinking of is kind of basic. And the, apart from the hair, which I'm not too sold on the hair because it's giving me like a purpley hue instead of a red, the look is basic. And I would have rather not to see you in sneakers. But you look like you were having fun for the two seconds you were on the stage. All right, Vanity Milan, love ya girl. But I'ma need some bigger hair. I want big hair, like the wig. And I'm seeing this a lot with the wigs you wear. <laughs> I think the look as, as a whole, the look as a whole is good. It's giving big Mel B energy, the print, I love even the corset on the outside, which I'm not always a big fan of, but in this instant, I like it. I love the jewelry with it. Even your pump is like animal print, so that's cool. I love the the hair style is good. I wish it was like more hair, like a lot more volume and with length as well. That would have been nice. And yeah, overall, the sparkles all over the suit, it doesn't show a lot on the main stage, which sucks. The light's probably, you know, drowning them out. But I see a lot of effort that was put into this look and the look is very polished from head to toe. I just want bigger, 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 bigger. Now, this is how you do Ginger Spice. I love Theresa May's look. It's extravagant. It's like you take what they do if it's not grand enough and you build on it. The train, the drama. That's all I asked for, the drama. The hair is good, it's the right red that I need. It's long, it's voluptuous. I live for this. Pick and mix.
Congratulations, you are the winners of this week's challenge. We won! Wow, so the entire group wins and everyone gets a badge. I am so happy. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. And I, I get it, it's hard to choose which one should be the winner out of the group because everyone performed equally amazing on the main stage. I guess the only way to choose like who should get the badge outside of the group and not the entire group would be based off the runways. And if I'm going on for runways, it's Cheriza May's runways better for me out of that group. Then I'd probably go between Vanity Milan, it would be second and then Hell of a Day, then River Midway. Yeah, but I love that they gave all the girls a badge from two weeks in a row in the bottom to having a Rupeter badge. Come on, Vanny de Milan, you better work. I'm sorry, my dear, but you are up for elimination. You are up for elimination. I was not moved by that lip sync performance. It didn't move me. I'm, yeah. Scarlett was paying too much attention to Charity at one point, waving a, t a piece of tissue. And Charity was just being weird. They were both on the same level of, I don't care. Like I wasn't, it wasn't captivating me. I wasn't excited, nothing. Give it to Charity, I guess. Charity Case. Scarlet Harlot. Shantae, you both stay. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. 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 This is some bullshit. <laughs> I don't see a double Shantae here. They were not that good. If you said y'all both sashay away, I would have seen that making more sense. It wasn't a great lip sync by any means of the imagination, like any, no. This is weird. This is, it's weird here and I'm over it and I'm ready to go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much, but the energy here is like draining me and I don't understand what's happening. I feel like I'm being bamboozled. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos with your friends. Go over to my Patreon for more exclusive content. And until next time, I'll be right here. <laughs> hey, beautiful humans. You've made it this far in this video. Why not subscribe to my Patreon? You can sign up for exclusive content I don't post on YouTube or support me making content for this channel. Speaking of, why don't you watch another video?